Good morning, y'all. Oh my God. It is the first vlog of 2023. I'm feeling so good. Y'all have no idea. I have so much to catch y'all up on. You know, I'm just feeling really motivated and I'm really excited to bring y'all into the new year with me. Uh, I got my coffee with me. Y'all know I love to have my coffee on my little chats with y'all, but there is so much going on y'all. Like, so much I have to update y'all on. But I was thinking, why not update y'all while I paint? So I thought that'd be pretty cool. I'm gonna put the camera pointed towards me and then I'm gonna put my phone on the painting so y'all can see me painting while we catch up. What do y'all think? I think it's really cute. It's my first time doing this style of recording though, so if the quality is just like not it, please. I'm still figuring out how to film on my phone. So yeah, let's get into it. I forgot to say, if you haven't been to my channel before, my name's Uma Leone. I'm a full-time painter and content creator. I live in Long Beach, California, and I paint really abstract paintings, and I post all my stuff on TikTok and Instagram. This is just basically my video diary of me becoming the best artist and businesswoman I can be. So. Yes, thank you for being here, and let's get into the video. <laughs> okay, so if I set it up right, y'all should be able to see what I'm doing. And then see me in the camera. I'm so excited, but this is the painting I'm working on. It is just beautiful. She is just so pretty. This is the piece I'm working on, and the big news that I had to tell y'all is that I got invited to a exhibition at the Andes. I hope I'm saying that right, but the Andes Hotel in Hollywood. And I'm so excited. I do have a piece that I could bring to the exhibition, but I really wanna try and finish this one. So I'm gonna work on this. I have until the 11th and today is the 4th, but the colors are really nice. And right now there's not really any harsh lines on the painting itself, so I just want to see if I can keep it that way and just create some more boundaries but with really really light line work. So I'm going to go in with a darker blue. So let me find my stuff. Where's my big paint bucket? This is my favorite blue. I use it for everything. Actually, I kind of want to use a jar for this and I'm going to water this down. So I just want to start outlining this flower that I have. I'm really excited about the Andes Hotel because it just right off the bat is the first exhibition I'm gonna be in and it's all black artists which I absolutely love. I haven't been in anything like that where it's just all black creators and I just love to be in spaces like that. That's crispy, I like that. And the fact that I was just invited is so exciting because it's like, how long were you looking at my art? And like, how did you find me? And that is another reason I do want to be more strict with my content creation. Cause it's like, who knows what video they found of mine that made them interested and made them invite me, you know? So it's like, you never know who's going to see your work. I don't know about y'all, but it seems like when my engagement on my pages is the lowest is when I get invited to things or I'll have brands reach out. So even if your views are low or even if your engagement is kind of low, keep posting your videos. You really do not know who is watching you. You really don't. I think this might be my favorite painting of the year. And I know this year just started, but... I'm just like really loving the layers. Like you can see every layer underneath the last. And I love that. Another thing I want to work on in the new year is working on drop. So I want to have collections of art that release all at the same time. 
and I want to make a goal for myself to finish at least one big painting a month so this would definitely be considered a big painting but I felt like I worked very slow last year which isn't bad but it was to the point where I created so little and I think it was just a fear of picking up my brush and not knowing what to do I get really really nervous when I paint sometimes y'all like I think it's because I'll look back at my other pieces of work and I'm like how the hell did I do that like I have no idea how I came up with that how am I ever going to paint something like that again and I get really really anxious which I don't know I feel like a lot of creatives feel that same feeling but uh, this year I want to challenge myself to pick up my brush as often as possible through my anxiety. I don't want to paint only when I'm in a good mood. I want to be able to paint at any moment and hopefully through that I just have so many collections of art and I really want to test my style and just see how I can evolve this year. I wonder what I'll name this painting. I don't know. This one's really intricate. I'm really enjoying painting it. I left this open the other day and I almost started crying because it's just like, it's so expensive. I was not okay. Let's just pray that this can go right. I just love it. <laughs> okay. Do you know how I was talking about setting up and I was like, don't be mad if I don't set up right? <laughs> My phone stopped recording, so it's literally just me talking to y'all and then my camera died. <laughs> so I'm so sorry, but you know what? We're going to try again tomorrow and I'm going to get this down and I swear we're going to have a good video. Tomorrow we're going to keep working on this, but look at it so far. I'm so proud of it like I worked on it for three hours on live y'all and I swear I'm gonna work on it with you guys but tomorrow we're gonna try tomorrow it's kind of gloomy outside so we'll see talk to you soon